All right, what's going on guys? So back with another video with the Limitless uh, Super Caps and here's how I wired them in. I have uh, the Team uh, CT Sounds 300.1 and I basically wired a fuse straight to the caps and the cap straight to the amp and on this side you can see I ran the front battery in then out to the other battery simple as that I uh, wired both batteries together checked the resting voltage charged the caps to the resting voltage and hooked them up no spark no issues and as far as the test um, my alternator's voltage isn't moving it's staying steady at 14.4 um, the voltage coming into the amp uh, is red on uh, the base knob and that's pretty consistent I mean it's going up and down but the alternator isn't uh, affected by it at all. So definitely caps are definitely uh, worth the investment over, uh, I'd say, a battery or in conjunction with a battery. Like I said, I got two batteries now and uh, a six bank of caps. And finally, I was able to turn these all the way up and see what they can do. Because before, I just felt like I would have issues with my alternator over pushing it, over pulling. But... I mean, it sounds pretty good now, and uh, I don't really have to worry about voltage or current. So, if you have any questions, I guess leave a comment, and uh, hopefully I can answer them. But the other video I showed uh, how I charged them, and uh, when I charged them, I charged them to the resting voltage of my amp, which would have been, uh, or of my battery, which would have been 14.78 volts. I charged it to that. Uh, within an hour it dropped to 11.5 volts I charged it up again and it dropped to 11.8 I charged it up again and it dropped to 12.2 and I kept charging it until it actually rested and all the caps were balanced and uh, that's pretty much it and the final voltage when I charged them they actually held at uh, 12.82 uh, was which it, what it was when I hooked them up and the resting voltage of the batteries were 12.78 and uh, yeah, that's basically it. So I have three leads on there, two going in the amp, one from the front battery with the inline fuse and uh, same thing with the ground. So I did not ground it to the frame, I ground it to the, the second battery, the second battery is grounded, grounded to the frame. And that's it. I'll post another video. I, I wish I would have did it before uh, and after um, because the difference is night and day. Like I said, the voltage on my alternator shows on my dash cluster, uh, which is not moving. So I will post a video, and uh, I'll get that up soon. So if you guys have any questions, just leave me a comment. Thanks. Bye.